environmentally friendly in 2020 but haven't the slightest clue how to do it? Fear not. From the bathroom to your bedroom to the kitchen, we're going to show you how easy it is to embrace a greener you. So, of course, our accidental environmentalist, Julia Grieve, is going to walk us through it. with all things green and we're yes. gonna move around the house a little bit right yes we're gonna go from different room and just different little things that you can just swap out yes we love that and we're gonna start in the bathroom so one of the things that I want to start with is your toothbrush yeah okay now let's just think about this for a second okay. think of every single toothbrush that you have used in your entire life picture that yes it's still here sitting in oh. landfill. Those things do not biodegrade at all. It's so so a quick swap out is a bamboo toothbrush. Okay. Bamboo on its own already has antibacterial properties to it. Okay. It is one of the fastest growing plants. So yeah. when it sits, you know, harvest, it will grow again. Yeah. And it's 100% biodegradable. Oh, so, so it's going to go away. It is. Okay. Dentists are starting to use these now, giving them out. You can also find toothbrushes that are made out of cornstarch. Hmm. Oh, who knew? Who knew? Right. So again, something easy. We don't have to just save the planet in one day, but yeah. swap out your toothbrush. Boom. Do the Look little at things. The other one Good is tip. your razor. Think okay. about that. Even just think of disposable razor. Yeah. yeah, bad word. Even right there. Yeah. Back in the day, my grandfather had one razor almost his entire life. Right. right? And that's what this is. This is the well-kept razor. I love it. It's heavy. It's metal. And all you do is replace the blades. Oh, so you good. can have it forever. So you're not sort of throwing stuff out all the time. Yeah, that is excellent. It's great. I love well, just it. Just hold that up. Um, know, what's so interesting <laughs> about it? It's it's a beautiful color. It is. Um, and I think it's just one of those simple little things that we, we're not even really thinking about when we go Absolutely. and get a new pack. You know. Exactly. So something like that. The other one you can look at are shampoo and conditioner bars. Oh, so yes. you're not using plastic bottles. They yes. come in tins. They're really good. They lather. They're great for the hair. Yes. But again, less waste. Good. Simple. Reusable the other tins. one I'm gonna. Talk about quickly is we're going to yes. talk about ant flow. Yes. Okay. Now yeah. I'm not going to give you the stats and all the garbage. We can all imagine that. A lot. But what I'm going to tell you that there are more sustainable options out there. Okay. I just discovered the Diva Cup. Yes. I love the company. It's a mother and daughter duo. Oh, I did not They're know They're Canadian. They're B certified. I didn't right? know that. And they were the first in the marketplace in this sort of menstrual cup idea. Yeah. And do you know who got me into this? Your daughter. I'm not lying. I know. I'm not because lying. Because the younger generation is, is embracing it really, like, really quickly, and they're getting into it they right away. They have that open conversation. They've they got know, that going and on. they're telling us. So, it's, yes. as I said, it used to be go, you know, go and flow. Now we yes. just have to go with the flow. Go with the flow, <laughs> man. Get yourself a diva. Uh, People exactly. love, use them, love them. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, now let's move on to the next room in the house, the bedroom. The uh, bedroom. Okay, lots of things you can do here. One of them I want to talk about is swapping out possibly your duvet. Uh, okay. Duvets are down feathers. Yes. There's sometimes a little, you know, controversy about this, you know, the ethical of getting the down feathers. Well, yeah. this is made out of 100% recycled down feathers. Oh. So think of all those old jackets, okay. those 70s jackets. Yes. They've been repurposed and put back into the duvet. Excellent. And it's a Canadian company that makes these. Amazing. Amazing. And I picked it up at HomeSense. So again, you don't oh, have to go. Whammy. It doesn't have to go hard places to find it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very okay. Good. The other one is I want to talk about lighting. Okay. I don't get excited about light bulbs very often. Right. I'm not going to say, but these ones I get totally into. Okay. So these are the Wiz light bulbs. Mm -hmm. They are LED. They're smart. They work off of your your phone. And the best part is they come in 16 million different colors. 16 million colors. Yeah. I are know. there that many colors? I know, right? I still like, have to oh try. Goodness. I'm at 15 million 998. <laughs> I'll let you know when I try them all. But what's great is, like I said, they work off of your phone. Yeah. Uh, there's, you know, obviously the main purpose is that you can turn your lights off when you're not home or yes. turn them on if you're driving up north uh, but in my house it's funny I'll leave the phone in the kitchen and I'll be upstairs and all of a sudden my bedroom turns to mint green I'm Whoa. like Scotty put down my phone Whoa. kids go crazy with it that's kind of nice so, and romantic yeah, I are. like it and they're, they're priced well they're great they're okay really fun. good they're stuff good. the Perfect. next room we're gonna hit is the kitchen <laughs> how can we be a little bit greener in the kitchen what do you got for there us? is a lot of swap outs that you can do there one of the things I would start with first would be dish towels yes dish towels are sort of my nemesis okay. they either get super dirty or they're again that bad word disposable yes right so one you can look at is this ten and clove dishcloth love this they're like art they're beautiful colors Pretty. they are a hundred percent biodegradable throw them in your green bin when you are done yeah easy okay. great super to use Excellent. Um, okay the other thing is you talk a lot about 
natural cleaners. I'm yeah. going to show you quickly how to make a DIY natural cleaner. Okay. We all know that vinegar is fantastic. It cleans and stuff. The, best. the only problem is your house smells like a pickle it by the does. time you're done. It does. Right? So what I'm going to show you quickly is how to make an infused vinegar with lemon so that your cleaner will smell like lemon. Okay. So all you're going to do is take a mason jar like this. Mm -hmm. You're going to take two lemons, just the peel. You'll add in thyme. Mm -hmm. And then all you're going to do now is cover that with the vinegar. So you just fill it all the way up and you're going to cover it. Now, but here's the trick, Trace. When we talk about sustainability, there's a lot of talk about slow living. Okay. Here's the slow part. This has to sit for two weeks. Oh. I know. But when it's okay. done, it'll be amazing. And what will happen is you will have your lemon vinegar. Yeah. It will smell amazing. You mix it and now. And that's what you get. Yes. Pack your patience. It's worth it. Totally. It smells like lemon. That just don't smell like fish and oh, chips. Oh, that's lovely. Okay. <laughs> Such great tips, Julia. And we